are back here on Girl Talk. Once again, we're at Low Country Produce. It is a wonderful, wonderful day, and we're having a blast. Uh, Larkin and Betsy are still here with us, and we have been joined by Shane Gould from Fuel, and we're talking today about Sock Karma, and I have eight grandchildren, all of them. I cannot believe they're not here today. They're usually all running around in their uh, Fuel socks, which is the biggest gift ever this year. It really is. Thank you for joining us. Can you talk to us about Sock Karma? Yeah, Sock Karma is... Um you know, it's something we've been doing for a while is making socks for, for the general masses as well. I mean, we're selling them worldwide for the last 10 plus years. But Sock Karma really came about um, about six months ago. We were deciding on how do we want to make a subscription that we've never done before. Okay. And not only that, but how do we give back? So what we did is we developed something that was a monthly sub sock subscription. For every one that we actually are sold, we also donate to the homeless shelter. So it's a monthly subscription, guys, which is really cool. And we talk all the time. How long has Fuel been exist in existence? Um, just about 24 years. Oh, my. Yeah. I, got my, I got Hudson the hat for Christmas, too. See? It's wonderful. That Tell everybody, fun. for the few people who may not know what Fuel does. Um, who wait, are you, Shane? Who are <laughs> Jeez. I'm your neighbor. I know. This is true. Um, let's say, I mean, Fuel's, uh, it's, it, basically, it's an action sports apparel brand. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, um, we have a lifestyle brand, and that brand resonates with the action sports. So your skateboard, your snowboard, your surfers, um, racing. So those are the things that kind of built our DNA of who we are. And that, at the end of the day, is, is uh, it's that lifestyle and that passion, and that's what we call fuel. And fuel in the fire is that passion to do those sports. So, you know, all of our apparel really does resonate with those those individuals. And sock karma is something that we've decided that goes beyond the action sports. But we really are our DNA is action sports. But we want to give back to the homeless shelters that have nothing to do with action yeah. sports. So how do you sign up for Sock Karma? What does that mean if I'm a subscriber? So if you're a subscriber, you would go to either our fuelclothing.com or fuelsockkarma.com. And you would sign up and you could say, I, I would like one sock per month or two socks or three socks. If you have a, a household of eight, you have eight socks, whatever it is, you would sign up. And then obviously every single month, a new sock comes to your doorstep, shipping's included, and you would get yourself one and you know one is donated to the homeless shelter. Every month. Every month. Which is, okay. I think it's so and you can, that's amazing. You can yeah. cancel at any time. So if you sign up, you're like, okay, I signed up and I had three pair of socks and you know what, I, I, I don't think this is for me. You can cancel any time. But that'll never happen because never. don't. what do you think? When when you get used to the fuel socks, you're kind of into them, right? Yeah, I feel like you could wear them with everything. Exactly. Is Hudson addicted to them? Yeah. Yes, he wears them almost every single day. She had a question for you. She was dying to talk to you. Do the socks only come in like, like are they only made for boys or do they go with girls also? No, of course, they're unisex. I mean, obviously, this is, I'm sure, plenty of men out there would like this in the pink version. Right. I personally wear the pink version, but <laughs> they them? are unisex. Um, we are, we also are, for 2016, we are developing a women and youth sizing for everything as well. So oh. we are going to create that as well. We do five different lengths now, but for Sock Karma, it's only the crew length at this time. You know, Betsy, one of the reasons we were excited to have Shane on was because you and I talk about it all the time. He is internationally known, but we want more people locally to take advantage of all the stuff that's here that you have because the retail store by the bike dock, right, by the dock yep, is fabulous and your son works there, right? He, so he My knows son works Shane. at the bike doctor, yep, yeah. he knows Shane and he's okay. got, I have a pair of fuel socks at home right now that he wears <laughs> all the time and fuel stickers on his mirror and fuel everywhere. Oh, so. and we do the same thing. Whenever we come, the, where do you live? <laughs> In California. Sorry. Exactly. And yeah. whenever they come, their first stop is the fuel store. It really is. And his Thank skateboard, you. And his Thank fuel you very skateboard much. has all the fuel stickers on the back. Like, you cannot see any of the designs It's all on fuel. The back. It's it really. All. What, who are your, what is your demographic? Because, um, I mean, I have fun when I go in. I bought shoes in there. For the retail store, I mean, obviously, that's our local, um, that's our local. Um, presence? Yeah, presence. But. But the brand itself, I mean, we do have a very young demographic, sort of speak, I would say that 13 to 18 year old. But we have plenty of people that are, that are much older that still that go to our retail store and, and they're buying for their grandchildren, or they're buying for their sons, because we have more than just the apparel. We have the skateboards, the surfboards, the stand-up paddle boards and all that. So, but it's, um, it's a very young brand, you know, as far as like the, the culture of How it. How did you get into this, why? 
Why feel Why? free? Why? You know, um, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know if there was really, I didn't really set out to get into it being like, oh, this is going to be the future of everything. Um, I thought it was more of a challenge at the time when I, I uh, was on a snowboard tour traveling, you know, and um, I wanted to do something that was different. I wanted to create these t-shirts and start driving around and selling them. And I was just actually with Andy McDonald, which is a pro skater, um, Sunday. And we were talking about the days of us driving around the country skateboarding together and, and I would be selling my t-shirts out of the car. And uh, it's funny because over the last 20 some years, how many highs and lows the industry's had itself. And just, uh, and it's just funny, we sit back and laugh. I think one of the things that impresses me and always has about Shane, and it's easy for me to pitch you because I've known you for so long is, you always talk to me about giving kids an outlet. If they have something to do, yeah. whether it's skateboarding or snowboarding or whatever. It, right, right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It gives them something positive. Yeah, and I think that's, that's important because at the end of the day, I mean, obviously there's so much things out there that, that can take away from, let's just say, um, you know, for me, it was when I was growing up, it was, I wanted to ride my dirt bike and I wanted to go surfing. And those little things were outlets for me to do it outside. And I was just, I wanted to be outside and I wanted to be You active. use your power for good. Yeah. And it was, it's, when I talk about those sports, those are very individual um, and they resonate with people that are very creative usually. You know, you find out those are, they're not team oriented. They're not supported by a team. You're by yourself. So you have to be self-motivated and self-creative to do those things. And I know we've only got about 30 seconds. One of the things I've noticed now that I have grandchildren who do all these, participate in all these sports is I've never seen more polite kids that are unsupervised. When I go to the skate park now with, with you guys, I'm always amazed at the, um, the manners or the MO that's out there. Everybody kind of knows the, the yeah. um, order of who's going. It's really amazing. Yeah. Shane, thank you for yeah. joining us. Thank Again, you very much. This is Girl Talk. Stay with us. We'll be right back. There's a lot more to come.